An L.A. police chief, a uh, police chase leads to the arrest of a suspected serial rapist with possible ties to Las Vegas. It is a cold case dating back to the 1980s. 8 News Now investigator Kyle Payne here in studio. Kyle, how did they find this person? Denise Bryan, an investigation by the U.S. Marshals here in Las Vegas breathed new life into this case. And their regional task force located the suspect, 71-year-old Stephen Gale in L.A. He was able to slip away until the LAPD tracked him down Thursday. Been up and down the 405 freeway a couple times. The maroon car in the middle of your screen took the LAPD on this slow speed chase Thursday evening through West Los Angeles for more than an hour until chopper footage from 8 News Now's sister station KTLA shows police capture the suspect wobbling out of his car apparently in distress. Police and U.S. Marshals say the 71-year-old man here, in such bad shape police had to cuff him to a wheelchair, is Stephen Paul Gale, who, it turns out, is wanted on four counts of rape, as well as kidnapping and armed robbery dating back some 34 years ago in a suburb of Boston, before he disappeared without a trace. We believe that to be in part because Mr. Gale has, over the years, used a number of aliases and has lived and has ties to multiple states from coast to coast. Marion Ryan is a district attorney in Massachusetts where police say Gale, one morning in 1989, walked into a clothing store, robbed it, emptying the safe, raping two women at gunpoint. Using new DNA technology, investigators took DNA samples of Gale's family and compared it to DNA collected at the scene, confirming his identity. Gale, it seems, evaded law enforcement for decades. Investigators saying he has ties to Texas, Phoenix, and Utah, as well as right here in Las Vegas. Well, here he comes, he's opening the door. He was apparently last spotted in 2008 and in LA in 2007, which nearly 20 years later is where police got their hands on the man the US Marshals referred to as the Boston strip mall rapist, ending a decades long manhunt. He's complying, that's the good news. Really realized there was nowhere to go. And obviously in this condition, he was not, not able to run. Note run news stations in Boston are reporting Gale may have had ties to organized crime. Coincidentally, one notorious Boston mobster was found in Santa Monica after decades on the run, not too far from wh where Gale got busted Thursday night. Denise. Well, Kyle, our sister station in California, KTLA, reports Gale was also wanted for possible armed robbery and stealing a car.